Crawley at home, Swindon and Barnsley away, we certainly hit the ground running. We do, and the one thing I'm really, really happy with is that our first game of the season is a home game. It's really the only thing that, that concerned me. Um, I think that it gives us a, a really good opportunity to start the season in a positive manner. And I know people look at bunches of games and, and they, they'll say to you it's a, a good start to the season. It's only a good start if you win the games. That's the reality of it. So the focus for me purely is Crawley. But I'm really, really pleased that we got a home game to start with. And that's why you've been talking about the importance of this next five or six weeks. This is where we bring the team together. This is where we bring the team together. And during those five or six weeks, there'll be disappointments in the performance. But actually, disappointments in performance are good during the pre-season. I stress this because they fix more of the problems there and then. So you will get disappointments, but that gives us the opportunity to fix them. And then the most important thing is that come Crawley here on the first game of the season, we're ready to go. You've repeated a couple of times this morning that you're really comfortable with where you are now, that's not just words you can tell in the way you are that you are. I am, you know, the the, the thing is that although, you know, I'm only 45, I know it's hard to to accept that with a grey beard, but I'm only 45, (laughs) but I have managed now for nearly nine years so I've gone through this process a lot and in my younger years I thought it was so important to get all the players in for the first day of pre-season and sometimes because of that you ended up missing out on better opportunities that if you wait on will come and and I think that that's important I think as well as I've said the nucleus of the group if we get together some good stabilisers some players in certain positions but those positions where demand the highest amount of money then I think we'll get better value of money if we wait a little bit longer in those key areas You can see it in your mannerism your eyes the way you talk and the way you are around the place what is it about you that makes you so enthusiastic about this job? I think it's a great club I think it's a club with huge potential I think it's a club with a really good fan base. You know, we're sitting in what's going to be now the new players' lounge. We have spent money on the, the training pitches. We've got a terrific gymnasium. We've uh, put together a new analyst suite. So there's a lot of things happening. These don't ultimately guarantee you win your games. Far from it. It's players that win your games. But there's all these bits coming together to make us, in my opinion, a far more professional outfit. And uh, drive the standards and I'm seeing the improvements slowly but surely, they don't happen overnight but we're really working hard to really put what I think are the foundations in place to allow this club to grow for many, many years. And just finally it's interesting to hear you say you're going to sit the players down and say what do you want from this season, that's quite a responsibility to put on them and what a buy-in that will be. Well it is and there's a quote over there, the price of greatness is responsibility from the great Winston Churchill and it's really important you know I think sometimes when the managers dictate in all aspects you don't actually get it but I need the players I want the players you know I want the players to be driving I will set the standards and I will demand the standards but I want the players to be pushing those standards all the time and to do that you need a group of players that feel they're part of things and that's what I want at this club. (laughs) 